Hi everybody, welcome back to Yes Have Some. My name is Craig Goldberg and today, a moment that we never thought we would get in our entire life. That's right, we've been waiting for it. The NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles musical mutagen tour turtle action figure set based on the coming out of their shells tour from 1990. Listen, I can't believe this is happening. We have fantasized about this for years. When NECA got the line, what would be something crazy? What's something they'll probably never do, but something we would dream about? And that is the Coming Out of the Shells tour. We never got them when we were kids, and now we get them now. We're talking Pizza Power. We're talking Tubin. That soundtrack was like the soundtrack to my childhood. Skipping Stones, all right? We're talking about April's ballad version of Count on Us. Oh! Come on, and plus the VHS tapes, the behind the scenes, I was all about it. I've loved the Coming Out of Their Shells tour my entire life, and I'm an action figure collector, and now I get to have these. But not only that, we've got the accessory set. I'm not gonna lie, I already busted it open. I'm already wearing the shirt. Basically, NECA probably doesn't have the rights to be able to do the actual Coming Out of Their Shells tour logo and all of that. Remember that from Pizza Hut, right? Pizza Hut had like the cassette you could buy or the CD and the program and the merch. So what did NECA do? They were inspired. They got an artist to recreate something new yet vintage. I mean, that is ingenuity. Is that the word ingenuity? It's gotta be a word. This logo is really cool. It's actually based on the Beatles Magical Mystery Tour cover art. A lot of people don't know that. I mean, I don't know. That's something I say. I say something that I think a lot of people don't know, then I say it as fact. Maybe people do know that, but I think it's very cool. So before we get into the figures, let's go ahead and dig into the accessory pack now. This is a Target exclusive, was available last week on Target.com. Everybody knows what happened. It was crazy, but they are now hitting stores. Got my hands on this this morning. This accessory pack is really cool. It comes with exclusive merch and like toys. I also like merch. I love the exclusive stuff. Unfortunately, we were not able to get this stuff at San Diego Comic-Con. Obviously, that didn't happen this year, but they still put out the accessory kit and you can get it at Target. It's a separate purchase from the actual Tour Turtles. It's 25 bucks. I'm already wearing the shirt. Let's go ahead and dig into this thing right now and uh, see what else is in there. I was able to get one in nice packaging because I'm going to display this as I always do. And uh, we open it up here. The first item up for grabs is a little tote bag oh my god so it's got the tour dates on the back new york and san diego is there going to be an extension to this line at the new york comic con is there going to be like splinter in that terrible looking shredder or april come on give me that so we got a tote bag here uh very cool this would have been great to carry around the convention but now it's uh, just a collector's item, but it does have that awesome logo there on the front. More goodies. I love it. Uh, ooh. Laminated tour badge. Listen, I used to be in a band. I went on tour. If you don't have the badge hanging off that little carabiner on your back of your jeans, you're not officially on the tour. So we got this. Let's bust that open here. Badge with a lanyard. And uh, awesome. It's got that logo right there on the front, as you can see. And uh, it says all access pass on the back. It says Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles got the logo there with the musical mutagen tour uh, artwork. So awesome. We've got an empty bag. Uh oh, did somebody get to this stuff? We've got our ticket stub right there. Very cool. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles musical mutagen tour ticket stub. Awesome. I went to the tour in 1990 my first live concert, not a big deal. Now, here's the deal, there's supposed to be four guitar picks in here, and uh, this bag is empty, so uh, I don't know what happened. Maybe they just forgot to put the guitar picks in there? Listen, we'll see what happens, I don't know. Maybe are they, oh boy, I don't know what happened there. Well, that kind of sucks, but um, they were being stocked as I hit Target, so I don't think anybody like dug in and stole guitar picks. I think it was maybe just a little factory error, but hey, that's okay. Maybe I can send a message to NECA like, hey, uh, I know you're probably having a busy week, but I don't have my musical mutagen tour guitar picks. We've got our musical mutagen tour packaging here. This is a big set and it displays very well. I mean, you could just put this on the shelf and you'd be done, but obviously we got to get into those figures. That logo art on the front and then on the back, you've got a cut out 
Raphael mask. I'm not going to be cutting that out, but that's really cool if you do. I, I, I want to see somebody do that. Uh, it says cut out mask and party like a turtle. So there you go. Um, and then it's got a track listing on the bottom. Now, these are not the real songs. These are the ones they made up for this. But um, we got We Built This Technodrome, Sayonara, The Green Green Slime of Home, and so on and so on. And then we've got credits down here. We've got director Randy Falk. Obviously, everybody knows Randy from NECA. We've had him on the show. Producer Trevor Zamet. Obviously, everybody knows Trevor. We've also had him on the show. Listen. What I'm saying is there's a lot of really talented people putting a lot of hard work into this stuff. So uh, I'm really excited. Very cool. And then it slides out on the side there. All right, so this is what we got. We've got our packaging here, which as you can see, looks like kind of like a road case, right? So when the band goes on tour, they keep their amps and all their equipment and their speakers and their cables in these road cases. And uh, it's got the uh, outlined spray painted TMNT musical mutagen tour. Um, and then it's got some uh, some kind of like stickers uh, printed on there. Pizza Roof, proud sponsor of the musical mutagen tour. Pizza Roof, not Pizza Hut, not Pizza Ceiling, not Pizza Ground or Pizza Floor. Pizza Roof, one of my favorites as a child. NECA logo on the back, foot stinks right there. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, reveal this thing, okay? I don't even want to lie to you guys right now. I can't even, I'm like, I feel like I'm going to cry. There they are. Hope you can see all those. We'll make sure we get a bunch of close-up shots for everybody. The TMNT Musical Mutagen Tour action figures. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go through these one at a time. So the packaging itself is kind of a display piece. And what I'm going to do is remove the turtles, which are kind of all in one plastic sleeve. They made it pretty easy for us. And uh, then you can kind of see, I don't know it's kind of its own stage and you're gonna to have to kind of fold the top up to make it happen. So I'm definitely going to utilize this um, packaging for the display because I mean, of course I am. That's what it's for. Oh, I love toys. Do you guys like toys? Okay, cool. I hope I would hope so. By the way, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you like Ninja Turtles, Ghostbusters, Jaws, Jurassic Park, and toy collecting, let us know in the comments if you've been able to find the musical mutagen tour turtles. Kind of hold them up so everybody can see. The musical mutagen tour turtles are here. Raphael, Leonardo, Donatello, Michelangelo with instruments. People didn't even know they were real. You know, they started banging on the sewers and next thing you know, they're making music. All of the turtles are out. All of the accessories are out. What I'm going to say as we go through this is be careful removing the stuff. It's an expensive set. It's an exclusive. If you break something, it's not going to be easy to replace. Michael Angelo. And what we're going to do is look at the figures individually and we'll get a closer look at everybody's uh, accessories and things of that nature as we keep going here. So we've got um, Michelangelo, which is really an amazing looking figure. What we notice right off the bat, which kind of separates these from previous Turtles releases, obviously the heads and like, everything's different about these than the movie Turtles. These are different looking Turtles, but we've got these really cool articulated mouths which are amazing but also frightening if you remember the ninja turtles from this tour they're kind of scary looking let's face it so this is an incredibly detailed figure you've got the headset you've got the soft goods denim vest and then you've got the star pattern on all of the elbow pads and the belts which really are kind of one of the things that separate these these when you think about the tour turtles from your childhood you remember those big belts with the stars. Uh, they've got like the tennis shoes and the leg warmers and then the black outlined knee pads with the silver studs and then that star pattern again. And then on the back, you've got the star there for Michelangelo and then you've got the tour turtles now and the original vests, these were sequenced in uh, of the original coming out of their shells tour logo. 
but uh, obviously we've got the new logo here and that's perfectly fine. That's part of this branding. That's part of the release. Uh, the design on Michelangelo is great. And of course it has all of the normal articulation and posability you would expect with a NECA figure. The ankles have articulation, the knees, the wrists, shoulders, and plenty of, uh, ability to move the head. Uh, pretty standard bandana there hanging down in the back. The soft goods denim vest really takes it over the top. And there's kind of two different versions of the way that the turtles were ever displayed for the tour. So the original version when they were on uh, Radio City Music Hall, they did not have the vests on. So if you wanted to go for that look, you could, but honestly you're going to want to keep the vest on. It's it's part of it. It's kitschy. It's fun. It's exciting. I'm excited. NECA does not recommend trying to remove the uh, headphones from their heads, uh, so don't do it. So then we've got Donatello, very similar, obviously, in design. Something you'll notice, he does not have the star pattern. Donatello has the yin-yang uh, because he's a yin-yang kind of guy. He's he's of uh, of a technical mind, and he he's still a turtle. He likes to party, let's face it, okay? Um, love this. Little talons that kind of come off of the back of the elbow pads, which is unique to this Donatello figure. Donatello on the back of the vest, and then, uh, you know, you've got your, your belt with the yin-yangs as well, and then the same leg warmers, which... By the way, the leg warmers are soft goods as well. Uh, so incredibly detailed, exactly what you'd expect out of a San Diego Comic-Con type set. And uh, I love Donatello. Now, Donatello, I believe, was he the drummer in the band? If I remember, there is a drum pad included. We're going to have to like look up and see which instruments go with which. I remember in the original Pizza Hut advertisement, we had Raphael playing the old alto saxophone and they included that like i don't know if he actually played the sax during the show but uh that's great that they included that i might need to get another one of these just to pose them with the saxophone that would be cool not pizza hut by the way pizza roof let's move on to Raphael now a kind of an x pattern uh because he you know Raphael is a little bit against the grain he's like generation x he's like reality bites i love the sculpt on this they did a really good job you know there's some unique details that are kind of hard to articulate what they are but as you look at the turtles you kind of can pinpoint them one thing i really love is the have a nice day smiley face on the uh denim vest there for raf this is really, really cool. And uh, you'll notice like on the shoes, like the shoelaces are red for Raphael and blue for Leonardo and so on and so on. Um, no weapons though, okay? These are turtles that fight with their music. You're not gonna get a sigh or a nunchuck or a katana. You're gonna get a saxophone. You're going to get a drum set, maybe even a, a flute or a piccolo if you're lucky. Another close look there. I'm sure you guys can tell I'm pretty thrilled about this set. And uh, also, the paint jobs are incredible. There's no QC issues. I love the articulated mouths. And we've got Leonardo here who's got the moons. Uh, he's the leader of the group, so he's... Uh so he's got the moons. I wonder what the details were. I wonder if it was just randomized who got which symbol or logo. No talons on the uh, elbow pads there for Leo, uh, but you do have the blue leg warmers. And uh, our de facto leader of the group is uh, looking pretty snazzy there. I love that. And like I said at the top, not really a set of figures we ever really thought we would get. I mean, who would make these? Who's going to buy these? Uh, apparently now at 37 years old, the market is hot for uh, weird kitschy parts of the Ninja Turtles canon. Let's take a little bit of a closer look at some of the accessories. We've got our keytar. All right. Very detailed uh, keyboard keytar prop. Uh, and then, like I mentioned earlier, we've got the drum pad. And I'm just going to have to look to see which turtle gets which one. Because I feel like they changed throughout the show, like who who got which instrument. Um, I do believe, though, that this one string bass with the blue outline belongs to Leonardo, if I remember correctly. All right. And then I'm pretty sure this is Michelangelo's, the orange outlined star guitar the star guitar there's a couple sets of interchangeable hands like i mentioned earlier and then the only other prop is the old pizza there they're going to be hungry after the show and they're not going to be in the backstage drinking beers at least i hope not uh that would be funny though say no to drugs don't drink Aww. why don't we go ahead and take a closer look at everything on display with the stage and then when we come back we'll talk about these some more we'll wrap it up we'll have some more fun and uh take it away
All right, there you have it. Welcome back. These things are so awesome. I'm having so much fun. There's so many different ways you can pose them. And listen, I know I joked about it earlier, but I do think they need to make the splinter in the shredder because like splinter is kind of terrifying looking and shredder from this concert tour is like the worst costume of all time, but I need it to complete the set. I love it. You guys ever realize that the skipping stone song by splinter is basically like a Bruce Springsteen song, which is really fun. That's how they appealed to the dads. Like, I don't want to take my kid to the, oh, well, that Splinter song is actually very deep and emotional. It reminds me of my childhood. And I'm skipping stones. Uh. I'm going to play with these. I'm going to get them on display. I'm going to take some more pictures. Thank you guys so much for joining me for this today. I didn't even expect this today. This was a surprise. Subscribe to the channel. Leave comments. Let me know if you got the tour turtles what your plans are for your Ninja Turtles collection. And I just want to talk. I want to talk about toys. You can join us here for all the toy content on Yes Have Some. We've got a weekly podcast. You get it wherever podcasts are. These might be my favorite action figures of all time. Brings a tear to a young man's eye. For Yes Have Some podcast, my name is Craig Goldberg. Have a good day. Turtle power. Pizza power. It's pizza time. Pizza time.